All right, time to bring in Mr. Pick and Roll, Avery Johnson. Tap it in. And Avery, uh, Jason Tatum, give my Wizards a 50-piece, 32 in the second half. I, I, hate, I hate to say it, uh, carrying the load here for the Celtics. But is this what you expect with no Jalen Brown in the lineup for Boston? Absolutely. This is a must-see TV with Jason Tatum, especially without uh, uh, Brown. Uh, you know, he's, he's in a situation where he attempted 32 uh, field goals. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get 32 looks at the basket versus the Nets, but uh, Jason Tatum was spectacular. Uh, um, you know, he did it all. Mid-range, three-point shots, um, you know, posted up, shot fakes, drives to the basket, uh, traditional three-point plays, uh, you know, reverse layups. This guy, was he was just all over the place. And because of the situation that they're in, Outside of Tatum and Kimba Walker, uh, I don't I don't see uh, uh, Tristan Thompson getting a double double twelve and twelve coming off the bench uh, versus the Nets. But uh, this was a spectacular performance uh, by now a budding rising superstar and a future MVP. Uh, and Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics. They got a little help there from Kimba Walker, putting in 29 to two combined for 79 of Boston's 118. On the flip side, the Wizards, they get another shot. They'll host the shorthanded Pacers that rolled the Hornets. Uh, Washington, they couldn't buy a bucket at all from deep. Three of 21. Does that change come Thursday when you're facing the Pacers? Or a better change, and it starts with Russell Westbrook, because if you look at the Boston Celtics defensive strategy they really baited Westbrook into taking uh, three-point shots uh, they went under all of his screen and rolls uh, it was it was it was a basically uh, seamless scouting report on defense and it also seems like Beal is just not healthy you know he scored what 50 points in their last game against uh, the Pacers uh, Westbrook had a big night. You know, they kind of combined for 80 points. So unless something's going to change overnight with Bill's health and Westbrook all of a sudden is going to be a prolific three-point shooter, I think they're going to have an uphill climb against a much deeper pacer team that's, uh, you know, clicking on all cylinders, even without Kara's Levert. Uh, I, I just think the Pacers, Sabonis, too deep. They have seven or eight guys that they can get in double figures. So I think this is going to be an uphill climb for, for your Wizards. Oh, thank, thank you, Avery. I appreciate that. Uh, no <laughs> faith at all. That's all right. That's okay. Uh, anyway, so the Lakers and Warriors, the primetime game we're all going to be watching tonight. The baddest man on the planet playing in this one. I'm talking about Steph Curry. You, you look at him. They have to flip a switch if they're the Lakers. Anthony Davis, well aware of what the chef has been doing lately. Here's what he had to say on facing the dubs. We know who the head of the snake is, it's Steph. Um, you know, it's, we got to do our best to contain him. It's going to be a team effort, um, not just all the pressure on the guards. Um, but, man, they, 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 they're playing extremely, extremely well. Um, every guy that they're playing is playing extremely well. So um, it's going to be a challenge for us. But, uh, you know, we execute our defensive schemes, um, then we should be able to get out of there with a W. Coach, we got about a minute here. Uh, if you're looking at the Lakers, one of the best defenses in the league, how do you stop Steph here? Well, you throw multiple looks at him. Uh, Steph is not going to be able to just dance with the basketball and go one-on-one -on -one against Laker defenders. You're going to see LeBron James coming over the trap, Anthony Davis trapping his ball screen. Uh, they're really going to try to just get the ball out of Steph's hands. Uh, you know, he'll split some pick and rolls and get to the basket. They'll try to defend him at the basket with their size and length without fouling. Uh, but again, I, I, I just can't see the Lakers allowing Steph to come and drop 45 points and allow him to just drill the ball across half court. I think you might see some zone trap looks. Just the beauty of knowing who, for a couple of days who you're going to play against, you can really strategize game plan. I've been in this situation before, but also attack Steph Curry when he's on the defensive end. They're not going to allow him just to sit back and zone and uh, and rest on defense. So this is going to be an all-out attack on Steph Curry on both ends of the floor. But uh, he's been playing phenomenal. You know, he's arguably could be the MVP this year. Um, 
not name Jokic and Joel and Bead or, you know, so I, I just think Steph Curry is going to have to probably make about 10 threes tonight for the, for the Golden State Warriors to have a chance to beat the Lakers. Yeah, plenty of rings between him and LeBron as well as the MVPs that go around there. As always, Avery Johnson is a pick and roll tapping in. Appreciate your time. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.